everybody, it is Natalie here and today I am filming my 21 things I learned by 21. I just turned 21 last weekend. I love filming these videos. I have other videos like this. I have things I learned in college or things I learned after my freshman year, something like that. I think I did 20 things I learned when I was 20. So of course some of these will be similar, but I just love sharing advice and giving you life lessons. So if you guys have any other life lessons that you guys learned that I didn't mention in this video, comment them down below. Again, these are all personal to me, but I hope that I can maybe pass some things on to you. If you're new to my channel and this is the first video that you stumbled across, hello, we're going to get real personal real fast. Um, I have a lot of other videos that you guys can get to know me or just other like lifestyle videos that I do. So if you guys want to subscribe to stick around, that would be awesome. And follow me on social media to learn more about my everyday life. And without further ado, let's get started. The first one is who you surround yourself with is who you become and this is kind of one that it's not exactly like oh you're going to become that person if you hang out with them once. If you hang out with a lot of negative people and all the time they're bashing themselves or all the time they're talking bad about other people, it's really hard to not become that person. And that is something that I have definitely learned and my parents always told me that when I was, whenever I was kind of hanging with like kids that they didn't really like, I guess, like in high school, they were like, you're gonna become, like who you are is your friend group. Like that is who you are going to become. Like why else would you be friends with them, you know? So that is really, really true. So if you wanna be a positive, happy person, hang around positive, happy people. They will lift you up and then you will lift others up. Never two is that you may change your thoughts and opinions as you grow up and that doesn't make you a hypocrite. So a lot of times in high school I was very like I believed one thing and that was it and just like with opinions wise not really this isn't really talking about like Ooh, huge things but I mean it could be but just like random little things that I thought I was like this is true this is right the way I think is like a hundred percent right and as I grow older and as I experience more of life and as I meet other types of people I realize that some of the things I thought I don't really agree with anymore that doesn't mean I'm a hypocrite that doesn't mean because you thought one thing and then you change your opinion in the future that you're a hypocrite it is healthy to grow and to continue to mature and I honestly hope that none of you guys have the exact same beliefs as when you were in high school to when you're older. Not saying that some of them aren't gonna be the same because 95%, 90% of my opinions are the same and I still believe in my core values, but there are some things that you are going to mature and you're gonna grow as a person and that doesn't make you a hypocrite, that just makes you human. Number three is that not being like everyone else is actually a good thing. I had other interests than other people. Everyone was kind of focused on like partying and schools or focusing on college applications and stuff and so was I but I also had this whole entire life like on YouTube that no one else knew about and I was really really embarrassed by it and in high school I actually didn't even tell anyone about my YouTube channel besides my closest friends um and which is so weird to me now like I cannot even imagine hiding this part of my life from people but like I literally like if someone commented on my video like oh my god or someone commented on my Instagram like love your videos I would literally delete their comment because I didn't want people knowing like looking back I'm so ashamed and I'm so sorry if you were one of those people because I don't know what I was thinking but back then I was like oh my gosh I'm so weird why do I like this and now I'm realizing like this is something really awesome that I'm doing and I am so happy why in the heck would I hide it from the world number four is to save your money so this is one thing I really emphasize because a lot of people ask me how I have money to travel because I am a college student and I don't have like a real job so people ask me how I have the money to travel how I have the money to like spend money on things that I do and my answer to that is saving, saving, saving. So whenever I get a paycheck, I split it. I split like 60% into my savings account and I do not touch that unless it's like emergency reasons, but like I am really, really good about like not touching my savings. So I just leave that there. It's been growing since high school. I think it's been, my savings account has been growing since I was 16 years old. Um, so I leave that in my savings account and then I think I put 20% towards traveling. So I literally split, like if you guys love shopping, Put a part of your paycheck towards just buying clothes because then you won't feel guilty about it, but you know that you're not spending your whole entire paycheck on clothes. So I spend a percent of my money on traveling and then the other half I think I go into my just checking account. So like if I'm buying food or like groceries or whatever, I put that there. So that is what I do and it's been really, really helpful. I definitely have saved a ton of money over the years and just being able to put aside something that I love so much, like I put a specific amount for traveling, I don't feel guilty when I spend it. <laughs> Number five is to have a job. So this pertains to that. But one of the biggest life lessons I've learned is through money and discipline and just having a job, having a schedule. I think having a job when you grow up is so important and I know a lot of people need jobs so they're probably like, what is this girl telling me that just to have a job for fun? No, I don't think it's fun. You might hate your job, but I think that in high school having a part-time job really teaches you a lot of lessons and just 
making money from the beginning I think teaches you the value of a dollar honestly like I've learned so much if I didn't have a job in high school or multiple jobs actually in high school then I don't think I would really be that financially responsible as I am now number six is that your first boyfriend or your first love might not be forever and that is okay I think in high school and when we're young or even maybe middle school you think that the person you're with is the person that you're gonna be with forever and honestly for some people that is totally the case and good for you like that's so cute <laughs> but for some people it's not and it's kind of hard to come to terms with the fact that like your first love wasn't like your only love I just think it's important to realize that God has such a bigger plan for you than this one guy and then you should not I know like heartbreak it's not like oh get over it like I have a whole video on that too but just I think it's important to come to terms with the fact that like if you break up with your first love it's okay and it will be okay so. Number seven is do not do anything that you don't want to do. This has to do with peer pressure. This has to do with anything in life. Like if you don't want to do something, please don't do it because you will regret it. And nothing like even if you have FOMO, whatever, like if you truly do not want to do something, I, there's a reason for that. And I would not do that if I were you. And if you truly don't want to do something because you think it's wrong, stand up to your back, like hold your values, hold your foundation down and say, you know what? No. And if you're with a bunch of people and they're pressuring you to do something and I sound like a 50 year old, like don't do drugs kids. But really like if you're with a bunch of people and they're pressuring you to do something that you don't want to do, no one's going to care if you say no in an hour from now. Like maybe in the moment they're like, oh my gosh, you're so lame. But like tomorrow they won't even care and you will feel guilt free. Number eight is that a lot of people will only want to be your friend when you are successful or when you're doing something with your life or when you look happier. Like I've noticed that a lot. Like people will all of a sudden that like ignore you will be like, hey, like remember me? We were such good friends. I'm like, were we though? Number nine is pertains to me specifically, but I have realized I am so much like my mom. Like the older you grow, the more you're gonna realize that you are like your parents. Number 10 is not really like a life lesson, but it kind of is because it's more like an I feel you type thing. Acne is the absolute worst. That is definitely something I've learned. I've definitely struggled with acne in the past. Right now my skin is perfect clear, which I'm so happy about, but like you guys, there have been times when I have had really bad acne and I totally feel your pain. Number 11 is that time and prayer really do heal all. So this goes with a broken heart. This goes with something feeling guilty, whatever. Like if you're feeling guilty about something, pray for forgiveness. Pray to God, talk to him. Like this is definitely something for me personally. Um, and also time. Number 12 is that the couples, like relationship couples that you see on social media might not always be relationship goals. And that is something I feel very strongly about. I was talking to my friend the other day about it, how this one couple that I know, they post on social media a lot and everyone is like, oh my God, you guys are perfect, relationship goals, whatever. And I know deep down that it's not actually a healthy relationship. And so I think that happens a lot. Like you see big celebrities and I don't know their lives at all, but you see them and they look so happy and everyone wants to be like them. And then a day later they're broken up and like, it's like the worst breakup in history, you know, things like that. Like, but you were like, wait, you just posted a picture together the other night looking all coupley. Number 13 also has to do with that, but it is that no one should be your goal. People should not be your goal. You might aspire to have someone's career, or you might aspire to dress like someone, whatever, have their style, but a person should not be your goal. And I see that a lot on Instagram when people are always saying, oh my gosh, you are goals, like you are goals, verbatim. And someone should not be your goal. Like I should not be anyone's goal, she should not be anyone's goal. Famous people should not be your goal. You can aspire to work hard and potentially like have some aspects of it. Like, oh, I wanna be an actress, goals, whatever. I wanna be a YouTuber, goals. I wanna have your style because I love your outfits, goals. But an actual person should not be, and especially it should not be based on social media because you have no idea what people are going through. And I just think the whole goal thing puts a lot of unnecessary pressure on people and it should just go away forever. Number 14 is that being nice is a lot easier than being mean. Um, just be nice to people, guys. It takes more energy to be mean and start talking bad about someone and just being negative and bringing everyone around you down than it does to just be nice. So just remember that, being nice is cool. Number 15 though relates to that also, and it is that being nice does not mean that you let people walk all over you though. That is something that people need to realize and especially me, there is a line of being nice and being completely walked all over and letting everyone step on you and not standing up for yourself. You definitely should stand up for yourself. If you are not being respected, you do not need to like kiss ass and be nice. You can stand up for yourself. So that is something that my parents have always taught me. They always told me, be nice, 
but respect yourself, stand up for yourself, and don't let people talk down on you and look down on you. Number 16 is that every single person feels lost sometimes, especially in college. As I'm becoming a senior soon, I'm gonna be a senior in like two weeks, three weeks. That's so weird to me. I have no, no idea what I'm gonna do after college. Like I have no idea where I'm gonna be, what I'm gonna do, like anything like that. I have no clue and that's really scary. And I was talking to all my friends and literally all of us are in the same boat. So that makes me feel better, but at the same time, it's really scary, but it's important to know that you're not alone. Number 17 is it's okay to have friends that have different interests in you and this is different than like oh I have an interest in being nice and they have an interest in being rude and talking bad about people. No. I'm talking about interests like <laughs> a lot of my friends like I love super girly stuff like I love makeup, I love fashion and my best friend she is like a biker, not biker like motorcycle but like she runs marathons and so athletic and you don't have to have the exact same interests as people it makes things interesting spices it up if you guys aren't clones of each other so that's also something to remember you can have friends and it's actually probably a good thing number 18 is that quantity is greater than quality i know in college especially joining a sorority and stuff like i had saw all these girls with a bunch of people like they were always like a group of like 15 of them having so much fun on their snapchats and pictures and then i'm realizing like the more I, I see that like quantity is, or quality is so much better than quality. Like I don't know those girls specifically, but in general, when you see big groups of people, a lot of times when you're hanging out with an individual, one of them, they talk so much crap about each other. And I'm like, oh, isn't that your best friend? And I'm not saying that as a whole. You can have 20 really close friends. Like, I don't know you, so like you definitely can. But I'm just saying that having a couple of my really, really close friends and not having to think about other 15 people that I need to hang out with at all times, even though I don't really like them that much, but I feel guilty, so I need to hang out with them. Having little amount of friends, but that are amazing friends is so much better. Number 19 is that college is hard, but it is not as hard as you might think. So I am an engineering major. Engineering is definitely one of the hard hardest majors that you can do in college, but and I was so scared going into it, but the more I think like, and people always say nightmares about it. They're like, oh my god, it's impossible. It's so hard. Yes, not gonna lie. It is very hard. You might fail a couple classes sometimes. Like, that's fine. But I'm saying that you can definitely do it. It's not impossible. As long as you put in the work, nothing is impossible. Number 20 is that there are going to be, as a female, there are going to be very many creepy guys out there in the world and you should 100% ignore every single one of them. So especially being myself and putting myself on the internet, I have had so many creepy guys DM me and message me and comment on my videos and like after those engineering videos, those engineering videos I think are like 60% guys that watch them and normal videos of mine don't get a male audience, but like that one did because it's engineering and like engineering is predominantly male and like Oh, some of your comments guys if you're watching this please don't comment something creepy because it freaks me out and I just block you so like if you've commented something creepy you're not watching this because I already blocked you just ignore them but like I don't know that's something I've learned and I didn't really have to experience earlier in life but now that especially that I'm on the internet I'm like oh my gosh the things that some people say like <sighs> Do you talk to your mom with that mouth? That's what I want to say. And number 21, and last but not least, is to thank God for everything that you have in your life. That is something that I've learned. Again, these are all personal to me. So these might not even pertain to your life at all, and you're like, I don't believe in that at all. That's fine, this is just my life, and I want to share my life lessons to you. But mine is that, thank God for everything I have. I always do that because I realize I would not be here. I would not be on YouTube, I would not be at NC State, I would not be doing anything that I do if it wasn't for God. So I just always, always remind myself of that, and it's really hard to get carried away, but once you kind of ground yourself back to reality, that's what I like to do. I'm so sorry this video is so, so long. I thought it wasn't gonna be that long, but of course I can't make a video that's that short. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you guys did and any other video requests that you have in the comments below. I really want this comment section to be active and to have a discussion. So please, please, please comment any life lessons that you learned or any that you agree or disagree with in the comments. I really wanna have like a conversation with you guys. Uh, so I hope that you guys liked this video and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Bye guys.